Want to see one of the best Amazon Christmas trees? Yes! Well then stay tuned for this Christmas tree unboxing and at the end of the video, I'll show it fully decorated. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just open up this Christmas tree box. We have a seven and a half foot heavenly snow flock Christmas tree with 650 warm white lights. It also has uh, pine cones, red berries, and these moving gloves, which become very helpful. Even though I have a blue Christmas, I'm not too worried about the red berries because it is snowed. So assemble the tree base, and then you're going to put the bottom section, which is labeled C, into the base and you will secure it with these screws that come with it. There's only three of them. And I'm curious, what type of Christmas tree do you guys like? Then once that's all done, you will just pull the branches down. You're not fluffing it here, but you're just opening it up so you can connect this next section easier. Hindsight, um, we would plug in the electrical from B into C before stacking it. And then drop all the branches down again. And this is what the A tag would look like. We remembered to plug in A into the B section, but not B to C. And now it's time to fluff your tree. I highly recommend wearing some safety glasses during this fluffing process. I got so many particles of snow in my eye during this. So this is our first home. It's our first Christmas. So we needed our first big Christmas tree. We searched everywhere for one. We went to every store. We looked at all the different websites. We were pretty particular though um, in terms of what the tree looked like, the fullness, the height, but mainly that we wanted it heavily snowed but not 100% white and, and that it looked very full and realistic. You can see that they have these two awesome main branches that you can see that look very lifelike and then the third branch the filler branch is on the inside which is your typical one that you see on more affordable trees and it was very important for tyler that it wasn't going to look like a poodle tree as he called it um, some of the other snow flock trees looked very puffy and here are the beautiful warm white lights like look at how full it is we were joking around that we didn't think we could fit ornaments on this tree because it was so full but we were so pleased with it and now it's time to decorate the tree we just used some gold ribbon as our garland and fully wrapped it all the way up and for our blue christmas or whatever your main color is you spread that i put those on first and spread it evenly all over the tree and then I add in my secondary colors, which is silver and gold. And of course, leave those spaces for your favorite ornaments that you want to showcase. And then I add my little bits of nostalgia ornaments as well. You can see we had only one casualty, which is actually really good for us. And when we put the star on top, uh, we were having a little bit of difficulty because the vertical branch was too puffy to fit the star on top. And then when we twist tied it to it, it was falling over. So how we were able to do it, we fold a lower branch, stick the star on top of that, and then twist tied it to the vertical branch for support. And here it is all decorated. Look 
at how gorgeous this tree is. It is so full and beautiful and with the warm white lights, it's just, it just really has the spirit of Christmas, I feel. I'm, as you can tell, I'm pretty obsessed with this tree. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or click here for what YouTube says is best for you. And reminder to watch the blooper at the end and I will see you guys next week. Unboxing and at the end of the... And at the... Stop, but you're laughing, I see you. <laughs> okay, pause.